gentlemen, go ahead. Yeah, uh, my name is uh, Mark Kohos. I'm a constituent here in Winnipeg South Centre. I'm also executive director with uh, Bike Winnipeg. So I, I do agree with you that we do need to make changes to the way uh, we handle ourselves, the way we behave, the way we live our lives. And I think uh, one way we can make changes that will reduce our, our emissions is to really work at creating a, a national cycling strategy that will help create more cycling infrastructure uh, across our cities. It will encourage more people to get out on their bikes to have that option to reduce those emissions and have healthy transportation options. I know your colleague in uh, Courtney Alberni has put forward a uh, private member's bill uh, to develop a national cycling strategy, something that uh, countries like Finland, uh, Germany, Australia, countries across the world have, have implemented and are seeing really fantastic returns. Uh, we know from examples in Calgary, in Montreal, and Vancouver, and if we build that infrastructure, people do come out. Uh, we know from studies we've done here in Winnipeg with the pedestrian cycling strategies, there's a strong demand uh, to get out there and to bike. I hear it every day. I had the great pleasure yesterday of being out um, at Seven Oaks School Division, uh, teaching kids to, to bike and seeing the excitement on their faces as they rode across the streets. So I know we can, we can do this, and I just hope that uh, you can support uh, that, that measure. I can. You know that I have uh, several colleagues in the cabinet who uh, bike to work every day. Uh, and they are powerful advocates and they live their ideology. Uh, and I know from lots of personal experience the joys of what we euphemistically call active transportation when we really need cycling. Uh, so there will be more and more of that. And they will be serious investments as a part of uh, the green infrastructure program uh, that I'm sure will uh, meet with your approval. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, that lady in the back, and then this.